Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Will, and we're here to talk to you about internal combustion engines. Alright, there are four basic steps to internal combustion engines. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Let's take a closer look at intake. This is the top half of the intake valve. It's normally covered by a valve cover, but we have removed it. This is the inside half of the uh, intake valve. A mixture of oxygen and gasoline from the carburetor enters the cylinder through this valve and is then ignited by the spark plug. The next step in the internal combustion engine process is compression. The timing belts on the crankshaft cause the volume of the cylinder to decrease and therefore increase the concentration of the fuel, as well as the explosion and cause it to do more work. Timing belts are also responsible for the pistons firing in sequence. The pistons are located in the cylinders. The next, the next step in the internal combustion engine process is ignition. This is the spark plug as it appears in the cylinder. The purpose of the spark plug is to ignite the fuel that is in the cylinders. The spark plugs are, are responsible for creating the confined explosion that does work by pushing the piston down, rotating the crankshaft, and driving the drive shaft, which moves the car. These are the spark plugs, which are covered by spark wires, which are connected to the coil pack. Exhaust is the fourth and final step in the process. This is the exhaust valve. Following the explosion, the exhaust valve opens, and carbon monoxide exits through this valve through the exhaust pipe and out of the car. Let's review the four steps of the internal combustion engine process. This diagram shows the four steps. Intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. Here's a list of some devices that use the internal combustion engine. Carnot efficiency was invented by Sadie Carnot in 1824, and it is used to determine the work loss during a cycle. Efficiency can be calculated by using the equation 1 minus heat, heat loss divided by the heat gain. The Carnot cycle symbolizes all processes that do work using heat. In our specific case, the heat source was the combustion step, the workout was the movement of the piston, the heat sink was the coolant that surrounds the cylinder, and the work in is the motion during the compression stage caused by the timing belt. 